Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let me just uh, do a jailbreak video for you guys, for those who want to jailbreak their devices with iOS 14, iOS 14.1, and also the iOS 14.2 using the Windows. So that video will be specific for those who want to jailbreak their devices with the Windows. I already make a, another video from a while ago, and I guess most of you guys interesting on Windows. So that's why I make today's video to explain how simple that is without USB or any other tool and then you can right away from your Windows jailbreak your iPhone. Okay, let me show you guys how easy and simple that is. Heading to that software right now here, link will be in description down below. This is the UNET button. So you need to download this one. You might see right now here that the software is available for the Windows, Linux, Mac OS. The one that we need and that we're looking for right now for that video is to download that software for the Windows. Go ahead and download this one and once you're done, you will be find something looks like that. This is the icon of that software. So once you're done, the other thing that you need to download, it is you need to bring the IPA file for the check range. So there is more than website. Also, there is a one that I will be link in the description down below. There is a check range profile and you can download this one right away from the description. So what you need to do right now, just go ahead and double click on the press on yes. And this is what the uh, software came with. Go ahead right now and uh, click on the file that I already provide you guys in the description down below. This is going to be the Chikrin IPA file. Go ahead and click on it and click on open. You guys can take a look right now. This is the file here. Now you need to navigate to the drive here and click on it and choose the drive disk from in there. So this is right away will be change everything to the C and you need to set up this one with a C. You want to set up this one with different kind of file. This method, it's not gonna hurt or make any kind of mistake with other files that you running in your operating system. As I told you guys, go ahead and choose the hard disk. First of all, this will be change that to the C file here. The only thing left is just click on OK here. So right now, sit back and relax and we will be waiting until that download or the installing will be done. It didn't take that long time. It might just like a couple of minutes and for sure this is going to be for depends on the operating system, depends on the processing that you have in your computer. But for me, it's not going to be take more than like a minute or pretty much is going to be take up to like a couple of minutes and you will be done. So let's just wait a little bit. I'm not going to be cut the video to make sure you guys going to be understand everything while you guys watching that video. As I told you guys for that method, you don't need to use any kind of tool or USB or flash drive or something like that. You guys can see right now we are almost done. So once everything is done, you guys can take a look. Right now you need to reboot your device and select the, the uh, unit uh, put in uh, from the menu and I'm about to show you guys how is that will be looks like. So click on exit here and you need to go ahead right now and navigate to the start menu here go to your power and click on restart. Let me go ahead right now and switch my camera and get back to you guys. Okay, so I'm about to restart my computer right now. As I told you guys, going to the start and choose the power and let me just choose the power and tap on restart. So I'm about to restart my computer right now. You don't need to press on any kind of key right now. Just see how is simple is that so let's just wait a little bit to restart my computer and once it just got back you guys can see right now what is the different and are we actually created a portable section right now is it working let me show you guys right now while we waiting when the uh, restart is done
okay so you guys can see right now here that you can choose one of the operating systems so we have the default it is the Windows 10 and the other one you can use your arrow key if you want to go down and use the unit put in from in there all what you need to do as I told you guys use your arrow key here and just choose the unit put in and just tap on enter okay so you can take a look right now here at the top that we have the skip key so you need to click on the skip key here right now we have one of the options just go ahead and choose the first option will be the unit putin and just click on enter that's it just give it a time a little bit until everything will be done you don't need to use anything you don't need to play with anything the process will be take between one to like couple of minutes and once everything will be done check rain will be working right away and as I told you guys there is no USB needed for that uh, process or that method there is no flash drive there is nothing the only thing is just running that software created that uh, partition and from now on you can use check rain from your windows right away just like that simple as that so as i told you guys let's just wait a little bit the process will be take from like one into like couple of minutes and let's just wait right now as i told you guys the process or the method it is really smooth and simple Okay, so you guys can see right now that check rain is just running right now and this is how simple and easy that is to show you guys if this is can be worked just take a look here this is one of the phones here let me just use my USB cable here if let's see if it's actually uh, find my iPhone and then you guys can take a look I use my 5s here and the check rain is already detected that one of the uh, phones it's connected already 
So this is how simple is that to running the check crane jailbreak with your operating system. Once you want to jailbreak your device and you're done, how you quit and you go back into the normal windows is pretty simple. Just go ahead and using your arrow key and choose the quit here, tap on enter. At the bottom here, just go ahead right now and type in reboot and just click on enter. This will be reboot your uh, operating system and then you can go back to the normal windows just like that. So let me show you guys right now that once my windows will be start, as I told you guys, once you make your portable section, so you have right now your windows and you already set up the J-Crane uh, section, it is separated, so this is how simple is that to work with J-Crane. So you guys can see right now, this is my windows here. This is the one that I already created. If I want to go to windows, just tap on enter, running your windows, and you will be good to go right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the video, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new video. Catch you with the next one. Peace out.